Hello everyone, this is Sunday, the Lord's Day, and we will ce celebrate the greatness of our God. And this is a privilege for me to share again with you the Word of God and uh, this uh, really very powerful Word that we can be inspired through the Word of God. And I just want to share about the seven things faith can do. Seven things that faith can do to each one of us. And we will have this text in Matthew chapter 17, verse uh, 14 to 20. So we will go on as I, as I tell you the story about uh, this text. So the disciples had been unable to cast out the demons. Uh, they asked Jesus why, why we can't cast out the demons. And he said, and Jesus said to them, uh, your faith was too small. So it is the power of God plus our faith that move mountains in our lives so the mustard seed was the smallest particle Jesus said that even faith as small as a mustard seed then would have been sufficient perhaps the disciples had tried to cast out the demons with their own ability rather than God's ability so there is a great potential in even in even a little faith when we trust in God God's power then, the Lord will act in that, even in our small faith as a mustard seed. So if we, will, if we feel weak or powerless as creatures, we should examine our faith. Maybe there's a problem in our faith. So making sure that we are trusting God's power, not with our own ability. So if you're facing problem that seems as big as immovable as a mountain, then Turn your eyes, turn your eyes from the mountain and look unto Jesus. Look unto Christ for more faith to each one of us. So here we are, we will study about the seven things what faith, our faith can do in our lives. Number one is, you have to jot down if you want to jot down. Number one is faith can help save you. Our faith can help to save us. It says in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 that for by grace we have been saved to faith. So we are not saved by faith, but we are saved by the grace of God. But faith is the, is the channel to which the grace of God reaches us through our faith. So, this is the account in Luke chapter 7, verse 36 to 39, that uh, it gives an account when Jesus was eating supper at the Pharisee's house during the curse of the meal, a, a woman, a sinner, who came and be, began to weeping on Jesus' feet, anointing his feet with oil and drying his feet with her hair. So she was so broken that she could not stop weeping at the feet of Jesus. She knew that her condition was so hopeless outside of Jesus. The Pharisee began doubting Jesus, but Jesus responded to the woman saying that the sins are forgiven. Thy faith has saved thee. Your faith can save you. Number two is faith will defend you. Your faith will defend us. It says in uh, Ephesians chapter 6 verse 16 that uh, taking up the shield of faith wherein, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. So hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. Faith will defend us. I have a story, a friend of mine He's a soldier. So when they had this uh, encounter in the mountain, so he was praying to the Lord, Lord, cover me with your, with your blood. And he has this kind of a small, small Bible in his packet, in the sixth packet of the uniform of the army. And he put it there uh, near uh, in the side of his knees. And, thus, and as they encountered the enemy, so he was running. And then he thought that he was, he, was, uh, he was shot because he knew that there's something 
na tumama po near the knees, the knee of this army. And then when he when he go back to the to the center of the army, and then he tried to see if there's something a wound in his knees. But when he saw the Bible, the Bible was burnt, but his knee was protected because of his faith in the Lord. So faith would will defend you. Your faith in Jesus will defend us. Peter, first Peter chapter 5, verse 8 says that stay alert, watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He will prowl around like a roaring lion looking someone to devour. So let us watch out. Let us watch our lives. Let us have this faith that will defend us from our enemy. That's the second thing that faith can do in our lives, my dear friends. So to withstand the attacks of the devil, we must depend on God's strength and use every piece of armor that God has given us. We need the supernatural power to defeat Satan Satan, because you cannot defeat Satan because he's powerful too. So we need that supernatural power which comes from the Lord and God will provide this by giving the power of the Holy Spirit within us. This is our armor. So our faith will defend us. Your faith will defend you. So number three is faith will help providing you. Your faith will help you to provide anything that we need in our lives. In Psalm 9 verse 10 it says there that they that know thy name will put their trust in the Lord. Lord, because the Lord has not forsaken them that seek thee. So God will not forsake everyone who will seek the Lord because our faith Will help, uh, will help providing for us. Amen. So those who trusted the Lord, because of His faith, God will provide everything that we need, my dear friend. So if we have faith in the Lord, God is our great provider. Number four that faith can do in our lives is faith will cement you. What do you mean by this? In Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20, Believe in the Lord your God, you shall be established. So if, if we talk about cement, so it is very solid, established. So it is only by faith in God that we can obtain a firm foundation of our lives. Any other source is the shaky ground, shaky ground and it is not reliable. It is only by our faith that will establish us. My dear friend, faith will cement you or establish you. So uh, Christ is our solid rock. And then He is our strength, our source of strength. That is why our faith will establish us because we have a great God. We have Jesus, the powerful God whom we serve. Number five is faith will add a punch to your prayer. Hallelujah. In 1 John chapter 5, verse 14, it says there that this is the confidence that we have in Him that if we ask anything according to His will, He heareth us. So as we ask anything in the Lord, He will hear us because faith will add a punch to our prayer, to your prayer. So possibly the greatest failure that exists within the church today is a lack of faith in our prayer. Amen. Lack of faith in our prayer. So time and time again, God continues to prove His ability to provide and answer our prayers when we ask according to the will of God. That is why faith will add punch to your, to your prayer. Hallelujah. So as we have faith and that it will punch us in our prayer. Glory be to God. So 
That is number five, and we will go to number six, my dear friends. And it says here that our faith will heal us or heal our family. So in Proverbs chapter 14, verse 11, it says there that the house of the wicked shall be overthrown, but the tabernacle of the upright shall flourish. So no other, no other physical institution is an important to the church today. Is our home. So when will, when will the family be saved? When the children of God get uh, to ma, 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 ma save our ang ating family, then will our our faith will heal our family if we have faith in the Lord. Faith will heal your family. Amen. If there is misunderstanding, our faith, as we pray in faith, the Lord will do something to, to uh, reconcile each one of us in our family. Because faith will heal your family. Not only healing for our physical, but also to our emotional, to our mental, to our, to our uh, spiritual, even sa ating, pong, uh, even sa ating pong mga, mga misunderstandings. God will heal us our whole family. And lastly, lastly is, faith will move mountains and kill giants. Our faith will move mountains and kill the giants in our lives. In Matthew chapter 17, verse 20, it says there, if we have faith as a grain like a mustard seed, you shall say to this mountain, remove hence to yonder place and it shall be moved. And nothing shall be impossible to God. Hallelujah. Nothing is impossible to God. Let us connect our faith in the Lord because our faith will move mountains and kill giants of our lives. It doesn't take a lot of faith to make us powerful to God's power. David has so much faith in God that he, 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 uh, he took five stones to defeat the giant Goliath in 2 Samuel chapter 21, verse 22. So if you have even a small uh, mustard seed of faith, so we can move mountains and kill the giants of our lives like David. Hallelujah. That is why, my dear friends, I just want to encourage you that your faith can do these seven things as you have faith in the Lord. Hallelujah. So, seven things that your faith can do to you. I hope that it will give us more inspiration as we have continued, as we continue in serving God. This is the key that we will be triumphant, that we will be victorious in our lives. Thank you so much for, you, for listening and may the Lord bless you and keep you safe. And thank you for uh, listening to the Word of God this day. And I hope that it encouraged you a lot. Thank you so much. And God bless you. Stay safe. And uh, it is my prayer that God will cover each one of us. Thank you. And God bless you.